the Attorney General, Honorable Paul Kihara Kariuki, Cabinet Secretary, Minister of Defense, Ambassador Dr. Monica Juma, Cabinet Secretary for Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Ambassador Rachel Omamu, Chief of the Defense Forces, General Samson Mathethe, your spouse and family, Chief of the Defense Forces designate General Robert Kibochi, your spouse and family, Principal Secretaries present here today, Service Commanders, the Inspector General of the National Police Services, Honorable Members of the Defense and Foreign Relations Committee, Distinguished Members of the Blue Economy Commission, General Officers, both serving and retired, Officers and Service Members of the KDF and Ministry of Defense staff, Families present here today, members of the press, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Please allow me first to thank the Almighty God for keeping us alive to witness today's events. Five years ago, the CDF was taking over from General Karangi in this very venue. Five years ago. But time flies. It seems like just the other day. I like many of us here today, was one of the lucky ones to witness the events of the day. At that time, I was seated somewhere on the wings towards the proceedings as I had no role to play here. Last week on Thursday the 30th, of April 2020, the CNC, with the advice of the Defense Council, made changes on the military high command. These changes also affected me as I ceased being the commander of the Kenya Navy and was appointed the Vice Chief of the Defense Forces on promotion. I therefore, through the air command of the KDF thank the CNC for finding me fit to be promoted to my current rank and serve as the VCDF. It is this change that has made me have a role to play in the proceedings of today's events. However, we are here today because of the change of CDF. Today, we are witnessing the end of the term of General Mathete as the CDF of the Kenya Defense Forces. Personally, I have known the CDF from the time I joined the KDF almost 39 years ago. If you look closely, you notice that our uniform is of the same color meaning that we are from the same parent service, the Kenya Navy. I went through his tutelage as a junior officer under training on board Kenya Navy ships, served on board others as part of the same crew, and later served as his first lieutenant or executive officer 
and to those who may not uh, understand nautical terminology, second in command of the, one of the ships. I therefore learned a lot from him in my naval career. For that, I thank you very much, sir. Among the things the CDF said during his takeover is that we must look at lessons we have learned from the past and adopt for the future. Indeed, during his five-year term, we have seen several changes. During his five-year term, we have seen several changes made as informed by lessons learned. He initiated transformation of the KDF in different spheres, details of which I'm sure will be given by other speakers after me. CDF sir, as you transition into retirement, I wish you and your family the very best. And as you set sail for your next port of call, I wish you fair winds and following seas. For the CDF designate sir, first of all, I want to congratulate you for your promotion and appointment as the CDF. We in the KDF High Command have worked with you and are therefore not new to you. Personally, I worked with you as a service commander, later as the VCDF, and now continue as the CDF. A clear picture of what we bring on board. We shall continue working as a committed team and follow your guidance as you shall give us. I, as your VCDF, pledge total support in your leadership of the Kenya Defense Forces as we launch on a new trajectory to take the KDF to greater heights. I now take the pleasure to invite the CDF designate General Robert Kibochi to make his remarks.